Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Operations Manager at Emerald. This is the Emerald Blockchain course, Class 10, the Proof of Work Security Model, the Physical versus the Social Layers. As I explained before, Proof of Work is um, the system, the consensus system that protects and provides security to a Proof of Work blockchain using Proof of Work, a lot of computing power and electricity to create cryptographic uh, stamps. Um, however, the general security of a blockchain um, has these parts and it has two um, virtuous circles. One is at the operating blockchain, the live blockchain, and, and this is proof of work as I have explained in previous classes. And, and it has a, a virtual circle. And then at the social layer, you have the, the network here and you have all the users and node operators uh, on top. This is what we call the social layer. There is uh, another thing protecting uh, a, a, block, a proof of work blockchain like Bitcoin or Ethereum Classic, which is called the coordination problem. And I'm going to ex explain these two virtual cir circles now. Uh, it all starts with demand for the coin. So, so when, when the, there's more demand for the coin, the coin price rises. And when the coin price rises, then more miner, mining becomes more profitable. And therefore, more processing power by miners is dedicated to the network. And the more processing power is dedicated to the network, the more electricity and the more capital is invested in creating the proof of work, then the network becomes more secure. And because, because it becomes more secure, then it is more attractive for investors and users of, of that kind of cryptocurrency. So there's more demand for the coin and this is how, and the, and the price rises and this is how it continues the virtual circle as, as, as more security is higher price and, and that creates more security as well. So this is at the operating level uh, of the physical network. On the social side, it's a similar virtual circle because as there's more demand, demand for the coin, the, pro, the, the price rises and more developers want to create applications and, and, and start new companies uh, on top of that network because it's more attractive. And this attracts more miners because the larger an ecosystem is, the more uh, profitable it is for miners and, and also the more stable that revenue stream is for, stream is for miners. So it attracts more miners. Uh, usually when there's more developers and more miners, there's also more pool nodes operating in the networks. Uh, pool nodes can be startups, exchanges, wallet services, etc. Because as the blockchain becomes more attractive, more commercial, commercially viable, uh, then more companies, businesses, and also individuals start running more nodes of that network. And because the, the ecosystem is bigger, there's more participants, and this makes also the network more secure. And, and this uh, creates more demand for the coin and the virtuous, on the social side, the virtuous circle continues and retrofits um, itself. So we have these two virtuous uh, circles, one at the physical layer, the other one at the social layer, that as the blockchain grows, it becomes more secure and more attractive for all uh, participants. However, these two layers that I explained, they can be divided like this, the physical layer and the social layer. They do have security the AMOS vectors or attack vectors uh, and security uh, the AMOS holes that that are that are exploitable and this is this is the good thing about blockchains that they are very transparent and the risks are known and all participants uh, can can uh, increase their 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 operation security by knowing these uh, risks. <clears throat> At the physical layer, it is a well-known uh, attack vector uh, that proof of work blockchain, if anyone, if anyone can build uh, 50 or 51 percent of the computing base or acquire 50 percent or more of the computing base of a proof of, proof of work blockchain, then they can 
create a double spend or a 51% attack. This kind of, of attack in a proof of work blockchain basically is you have a huge computing base and you send say $10 million to your victim in a transaction, but in parallel you go building blocks um, and the victim sends you something of value worth $10 million, say that they send you another cryptocurrency from another blockchain worth uh, $10 million. So basically you gave them $10 million and they sent you $10 million with something else. And then in the parallel blockchain, you send it because you have such a huge computing power. It is accepted by the rest of the nodes because it has more uh, proof of work on it. Uh, but in that blockchain, you deleted the, send, the original send transactions that you sent to your victim. So basically, in the new blockchain that you created with your computing power, you keep the $10 million. And in the other blockchain, you kept, you kept the other $10 million that your victim sent you. So that is the attack vector, vector which is called the 51% attack. It is really um, a very focused kind of attack on, on a victim. It's not a systemic problem of the network, but once um, a 51% attack occurs in a huge blockchain like Ethereum 1.0 or Bitcoin, it could create trust problems in the network and cause this virtual circle to reverse. No? The price may go down and then there's less participants, less miners, uh, etc. So this is this is a true um, yeah, most the true story about the security model of proof of work blockchains. And this is that at the physical layer, it is possible to attack them if anyone accumulates or acquires 50% of more of the computing power of the network. The the hypothesis or the idea is that huge blockchains like Bitcoin because of their current size, it's, practic it's practically impossible and economically not feasible to, to commit this, these, these attacks. And also there's many ways that victims or potential victims can protect themselves, for example, waiting more confirmations and, and things like that. <clears throat> then at the social layer, the coordination problem, I said before, the more participants and the bigger an ecosystem is of a blockchain, an ecosystem are all the users, investors, banks that may be participating, node operators, miners, everybody who is startups that are, that are building apps and apps and things like that. All of these participants, the more they, they, they are on, on working on a blockchain, uh, the more difficult it is for them to coordinate a social attack. What is a social attack? Basically a change of rules in a, in a network that is that would be controversial. For example, uh, very, a very controversial change in Bitcoin would be to increase the 21 million supply limit, say, to 42 million. <clears throat> Anyone can, can propose that, but because it's controversial, it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to convince or coordinate uh, thousands, tens of thousands of, of, of nodes around the machines that are uh, operating on the network and millions of users and investors and businesses that are using Bitcoin to adopt that change. So that, that's the difficulty. But the truth is that if anyone is able to coordinate globally with all the participants in, in a blockchain, in a proof of work blockchain, to make a controversial change, it is possible. It is theoretically possible. So the coordination problem is something that protects a blockchain, but just like just just like in at the computing base level, if if you can get the computing base to attack Bitcoin uh, or a proof of work blockchain at the social layer, if you get a critical mass of people accepting your change, you could also implement uh, a controversial change uh, in a proof of work blockchain. So this is a summary of of the security model, and this is important why. It is not correct to say that proof of work blockchains are trustless. They're trust minimized because there is a minimum risk, a minimum trust that you're still depositing in the operate in the operation of the blockchain. At the physical layer, you're trusting uh, that uh, the miners and the nodes and everybody's going to behave and they're not going to do a 51% attack. There's a minimum risk, but you're still um, 
trusting that that will not happen and, this, and the, at the social layer you're trusting that uh, the huge ecosystem of a proof of work blockchain will not make controversial changes that will damage your property agreements and wealth accounts etc on the blockchain and this is why the correct term is trust minimization uh, proof of work blockchains are trust minimized not trust less Thank you very much for, for watching uh, this Emerald Blockchain course, class 10, the proof of work security model, the physical versus the social layers. And please remember to download Emerald at emerald.cash slash download. Thank you very much.